Hey everybody, this is Mr. Shell here doing another video on how to burn your PS2 games using the ROMs available off the web. This is the third video and in this video we're going to be using DVD decryptor. This is some this is the only free one um that I've done from uh, from Nero and Alcohol 120. You can get this uh, absolutely free off the web of the web um I've put the link in the video description right this is the normal um interface and I've just put in a disk it's a dvd minus disk as uh, it gives you all the information here which is quite a handy feature it shows you if it's empty if it's erasable so on it, it just tells you everything even the make of the disk which is real it's really quite good and it's mm, so f and so on number of layers if it's a double layer disc and there there you go which I find quite uh, impressive really okay and how to burn your PS2 game you first will need a PS2 game actually so and this is the one I've acquired Manhunt and it came uh, when I got it it came uh, in this sort of format I this is what I've done before uh, later on came like this I extracted it and I ended up with these two after about 15 minutes of using WinRAW. WinRAW is another program which you will need to use when you're making your PS2 games because they do come all rawed up as I call them you are uh, all compressed uh, and you have to decompress them and unraw them to get your pro uh, product that you need so th th it came like this and uh, w sorry, the WinRAW link is in my web uh, is in my video description. Okay, it came like this. Y you uh, on extract it, uh, it all comes out, and this is what I get. The games, uh, the games do come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. They all differently rawed up, and you do need to work out how to do them. Do them uh, into uh, the image. Sometimes images look like this. To find out, you just go on properties, and there you go, ISO file. And if it's not an ISO file, it'll say like it's a raw file or whatever. You, you have to check if they are, or use the program by going into mode. The how to when you're writing it, you find the program. If it appears in a in the program, then you got the right file. Okay, so you have to unraw them. They sometimes come look like this. You do, you have to check. They sometimes come like 30 to 20, 60 pieces. You have to all compress them up, uh, raw extract on one piece, and it'll all make it into one small piece. It may look like this. It may maybe in a folder. It may. Uh, you just you just have to see what it turns out like. Uh, different people put it in different ways. Okay. So that's the PS2 game. This is the DVD decryptor. What you do is you go to here and you press right. I've already ticked it. So it will just tick it and then it will make it into write mode. So you write the PS2 onto your disk. You find your PS2 game. It does not automatically find it. I've just used the game for quite a, a bit and you just get the image you open it just open just the image so I uh, sorry about that I just wanted to see what it comes up with and this is all you have to do now is you press right from your hard drive to your DVD you do will need to use a DVD right uh, PS2 games are quite needy and you will probably sometimes need a uh, DVD um, DL uh, dual layer which is double the size of a normal DVD like games like God of War 2 they need a double layer disc because they're very large and games like Crazy Taxi they need a CD but you can use a DVD if you want but they are more suitable for CDs because they're very small just, just check out the size if it's like MB it's in MB is like 700 600 MB use a CD if you have any 
if it's also CD minus R's are better suitable if the if the in the 3 gig edging onto the limit of the P of the DVD then use a DVD if they're over like 5 gig what you will need a PS uh, a dual layer disc so the, there we go you just all you do is press this and you will uh, have done it I suggest you put it onto uh, the slower speed you your disc can handle there it can write at 4 my disc can write at 4 to 8 gig uh, I just put it at 4 as the minimum it can write at and just press it and there you go you uh, after 10 maybe 15 minutes you will have a PS2 game which you can use with a modded PS2 that means as in uh, using a chip or swap magic you will not work on a normal PS2 also DVD decryptor I found quite um, interesting uh, int well quite handy you can read them uh, so this is just a blank disk the same disk I put in you will have to put in a PS2 game a proper PS2 game and it will copy it onto your hard drive and then you can ma make a copy in um, uh, right so you have two games but the copy game also can only work on uh, modded PS2s or using swap magic okay thanks everybody for watching if you have any questions please uh, message me or comment to me if you have a any video requests please message me or comment me so this has been Mr. Shell uh, doing his third, his third video of the series of how to burn PS2 games and that's me out everybody see you later